what's going on everybody um a little bit different type of video today because as everybody knows um pretty much mondays and tuesdays i've taken off to where the only thing i'm dealing with cards is either like a distributor call an emergency on something like which you know somebody needs tracking that lost it or something somehow uh or a shipment needs to go out but pretty much i've uh, done videos in advance on the weekend so monday and tuesday nights i can just you know chill catch out on some videos you know do some research for my own stuff hunt pc cards down whatever it may be but i was just scrolling through and i was debating on sending stuff in the psa uh well we all know they're shut down of course but when they reopen and i just came across a uh, card out there and as you guys can see it's me being goofy on the scrolling header out there but somebody purchased and i'm gonna pull it up here labella ball hoops psa 10 1100 dollars and i looked at it because i was like i had to be shill bitted or something like that and i mean the guy selling it i mean kudos kudos to you my man because or you know whoever it is out there sold it because I would take that 1100 I'd reinvest. I mean, you could almost buy two Zion PSA 10 Prisms for, what, maybe about 250 more or two Luca Optic PSA 10s. Heck, you can get all kind of stuff. You can probably find an ungraded Trout Rookie, for, you know, for that amount. Uh, bat knobs, all kind of stuff that you could just keep for your collection. So, kudos. I mean, kudos. So, I'm going to show you guys what I looked at here real quick just to show you all. So, I went through it. You know, Grant, this guy was bidding a lot, but I will tell you this, when you're bidding by your phone, it gives you like those three increments, so he might not be typing anything, he might just be hitting his button too. Yeah, I mean, I've done it before that way, so that's the only reason I say it. A little bit of zeros and some twos starting it off. So I started off here, I was like, this dude bid $960, right? Fairly rarely bids, I mean, $960 on that card? A hoops. <laughs> uh, just do a bit of thousand. That kind of looked kind of crazy to me. But I went to this guy here, the second highest. I mean, nothing too crazy there, right? Top guy. He has a lot of bids, and I mean, items bid on 39, 16% of the time is him. So, I mean, you're talking, he's probably bid on seven items, roughly, that were this guy's. And, you know, rightfully so, because if you're doing a lot of auctions, you're going to have people like that offhand. They want to get masks, they can get cheaper shipping, all that stuff there. So, to me, legit. I mean, legit, somebody bought this for 1100 I mean, I'd love to hear everybody's comments and thoughts on this. Um... The conclusion I came up with is, you know, the market boomed. A lot of new collectors, flippers, investors, and all this stuff came out. And they're not thinking of the older generation stuff. They want to hurry up and get their hands on the fresh new stuff as soon as it pops. You know, it's kind of like an addiction in a way. And, I mean, I've had that addiction before to where I just had to get into every product or I had to get all these cards and stuff like that. It took me a while to back out and, you know, refocus. But I, I, that's the only thing I can think of is with the new, I don't want to say new generation of collectors. I guess you could say that in a way. But all the new people coming into the, the, the hobby itself, whatever the reason is, it's just, hurry up, grab this. I want this. I want this. He's going to be the next thing. And to me, LaMelo Ball and... Uh, uh, Edwards was both neck and neck until he got injured. Lamelo got injured. Edwards is going to run away with it. And with PSA being pretty much down for a while, I mean, what's that going to do to the Prism rookies when you find one's a PSA 10? Are they going to be $2,500? Because we're looking at price of the box as being 2000 plus. I mean, wow. Pretty crazy. I mean, the way things are going up. To me, like I said, I would if I got this and I sold it, it'd be like, you know, I'd have a kudos, pat in the back, took the money, reinvested into something stable and long term that I wouldn't have to worry about. 
where something like this could go from 1100 to a hundred dollars because he goes out and does something crazy or gets hurt to where he can't play no more or he you know gets injured to where he's not playing as good versus somebody will just say like mike trout who's been around for a while he gets hurt he gets you know leaves he has that history behind him to where it'll hold his value it may dip some it may go up some you never know but there's really no like I don't want to use like the word Hall of Fame mentality behind it, you know, because there's just not a lot of stats to say what is this guy, was he a great player if he left right now today? I mean, Luca, I think Luca would have a chance because he has some years, that, well, he has what, two, this is third season now. You could say he could have been good and he was doing really good for, you know, two and a half years, but. I'm just really in shock by this completely. And like I said, there was a Don Russ one. It was over 800, but I don't know what happened to it. I can't find it now because I was going to show that too. But please, in the comments, let me know what you guys think on this. Um, if this was your card and you got paid 1100 you know, what would you be looking to do with the money? I mean, if you had to reinvest in the hobby, I don't want to hear, like, I'd buy my wife this, I'll buy my kids that. I'm just curious to see what people would think. Would you keep buying newer product, or would you take it and put it either towards a bigger car that you know is going to hold value or really shouldn't decrease? Would you go buy some vintage, like a Mickey Mantle, you know, probably a PSA 2 or 3 now, the way the price has shot up. I'm just kind of curious. I thought I'd bring this up to everybody's attention, see what everybody else thinks offhand. Uh, me, like I said, I, I was in shock. Shocked by it completely. <laughs> but that's pretty much it, everybody. Uh, hopefully PSA keeps on rolling down the road and uh, trucks around and gets some cards out to us by next Friday because I don't want to do an auction with all super high-end stuff that I'd have to start off a lot higher. I like to have a variety of stuff with some surprises, but we'll see what happens offhand. Uh, worst case scenario is I had stuff like for PSA like before the shift in prices twice uh, that I was going to get great. I might go through that stuff, see. But we'll see what happens here. Maybe, maybe some good news. Maybe some good news will happen. But you guys have a good week. Like I said in the comments, let me know what you all think. I'm, I'm really curious. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good, safe rest of the week. And I'll see you guys in the next video.